Hey, hello everybody. Uh, yes, this is Kevin here. So uh, it's been a long time. Uh, and uh, I would like to share with you a new development by Noble that we just got information of uh, just a couple of days back. And uh, the name of the project uh, is called New Epic Asok Raman 9. So as the name suggests, uh, it will, is one of the uh, another development in the new NUE series uh, which uh, some of the past projects that we did such as the new Noble District R9 uh, new Noble Rachada Lakpao uh, all were pretty well received and they have another one that is actually about 7 minute 6 to 7 minute walking distance from the Ramanai uh, MRT station so uh, in the next few slides which I think will probably take me about 15 minutes or so I'd like to share with you the location uh, the project information and how you can actually find out more uh, if you're interested to make a purchase all right so for more information uh, you can always visit our website investbangkokproperty.com okay anyway this picture is not a random picture it's actually one of their um, so-called rendered artist impressions so you can see uh, that it uh, it is uh, in the background there's this uh, the uh, the G tower is in the background and then uh, uh, there's actually four blocks of uh, uh, condos uh, line up in a straight line somewhat similar to district R9 right uh, we will see more in detail later on okay uh, okay cool let's go next okay so let Let's start off with the location. Okay, so where it is, right? Uh, okay, so this highlighted yellow um, uh, portion is the plot of land, like what you saw in the previous slide. It's actually uh, the, the blocks are actually lined up in a straight line. Okay, and um, if you are familiar with uh, the Ramanai, central Ramanai area, right? So this is where it is. This is the MRT station. Uh, this is the uh, central Ramanai itself, right? The night market somewhere behind. Okay, and you have your uh, fortune town over here. The walking distance, this is something that I pulled out from Google Map. Uh, how I set it was I draw a pin on this plot of land here and to uh, the designated location is the MRT exit on the fortune town site. So according to the map, it takes me about 600 meters, 8 minutes walk. All right. Um, so for as of now, uh, from what I'm uh, aware of, right, this is probably the most direct, direct way to walk through. I'm not sure if you can actually cut through or is there if there's any shortcut. Uh, maybe when we visit the the place on site, then we can try to explore a bit. But uh, assuming there isn't anything, then uh, yeah, basically you 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 get up from the entrance, the main entrance over here, and then you walk along the main road and you hit the MRT over here. All right. Uh, if you go further up, there will be towards the Thailand Cultural Center and RE direction. If you go down, there will be towards the uh, uh, Makassan Station and the Asok uh, uh, Sukhumvit direction. Okay, so the project. Uh, next up, the few slides are uh, information on the development. Okay, the name New Epic Asok Raman 9 uh, by Noble. All right. Um. So it's a freehold for sure. There's four towers, A, B, and C. Uh. So the A and B are the are the taller towers, forty seven stories. Uh. Total number of residential unit three thousand over, and there's gonna be some shops below also. Uh. The layout are actually quite typical. So if you are wondering how they look right, right. Uh. You can refer to our past projects when we visited the sales gallery of. District R9 or even when we visited the actual development that just recently completed uh, New Noble Rachada Rat Prao uh, uh, from, from my conversation with the developer staff uh, the layout and stuff will generally look about the same the, the, the quality of the finish, the style so by looking at those past videos that will give you a good indication of how it will be like because the sales gallery will only be ready sometime in um, the later part of September. Okay, and uh, one bedroom starts from 26 square meters all the way to three bedroom, all right? 
you can actually combine uh, two bedrooms, two of one bedroom actually to get a, a larger unit, which is like 68 square meter. Uh, that was something that they started introducing back in District R9, uh, somewhere in the middle of the, of the sales plan. Uh, and it was uh, quite well received because generally um, uh, for, for a lot of such uh, condo developments, right, they will have a lot of one bedrooms, uh, could range anything from 26 square meters all the way to about uh, maybe the luxury one will be about 45 square meters. Uh, but the two bedrooms are limited in supply, usually at the corners. Uh, but then if you even if you want something even even larger than that maybe for for a family uh, of four or five right something for a bigger space uh, uh, previously is something that's not readily available so they decided that uh, they want to give people the option to to buy two units adjacent units and break through the wall okay uh, expected completion 2028 so there will be about four years from now uh, so the district and I will complete in another one year or so and then later on this project will complete it will come fully furnished uh, with furniture package but without the electrical appliances uh, parking lots all right uh, 45 percent normal uh, and then this is your typical management fee per square meter and sinking fund all right okay in terms of facilities uh i don't think uh, you have to worry too much uh, because i uh, for a lot of the new developments, they are uh, this is always one of the one of the one of the points that they try to outcompete the their their peers. So you will see a lot of uh, you see you can see commercial areas, laundry and delivery, uh, smart locker, co working space, kids room, entertainment room, swimming pool, sky lounge. All right, so so you, so uh, quite uh, quite 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 standard lah, it's in something you, you will come to expect lah, if you want to buy something from a reputable developer. Okay, and I I suppose they took this photo from a drone. Uh, so if you were to purchase something on Tower A on the 32nd level, uh, right now, this is the kind of view, north, south, east, west, pretty much unblocked. Right, and uh, because of the, the way the units are layout, right, um, uh, is actually running from from the north to the south, right? Most of the units will either be facing the east side or the west side. So, so if you are looking at a typical one bedroom unit, you are buying for investment. Unless you buy the corner units, you might you might take this into consideration. But mostly, it will be a choice between either the east facing, so on, so you can see here, uh, the the Unilever tower, or the west facing this side. All right, most of it will be either way. Okay, so uh, night view, 32nd floor, and uh, if you are, um, if you want something of a better value, you can go for a lower floor unit. So on the 8th floor, this is how it looks like. Seems like you generally might get something better on uh, when you are facing the west side. This is not too bad also, but just that there's some rooftop over here on the 8th floor. Yep. Okay, this is a night view. Okay, um, some slides on the upcoming development. So at, as it is right now, uh, I think the Ramana area is um uh, a pre a pre livable place already. You know, you have you have access to a major transport artery. You have a, a rather decent uh, amount of uh, shopping malls. Uh, the central Ramanai, and then uh, if not enough, you can take a train station down to Esplanade, or perhaps you can just go right into Asok. So that's not an issue. Uh, nearby, within walking distance, you also existingly have uh, some grade A offices, such as the uh, uh, the Unilever Tower. You know, there, there are quite a few law firms and whatnot over there. And then you have your stock exchange, one station down. Uh, but of course, there are further plans to expand. Uh, so uh, this is uh, something I think you can find on the news. All right, so the central group will uh, further build up their more. Okay, and then uh, they are saying that there will be another, uh, you know, uh, mixed use development. All right. 
okay, some more mixed use development, Thailand Cultural Centre too. So if it um my my personal take is if if all these things come into uh fruition, I think it's a bonus for everyone who have invested in the area. But even though um um this let's say for some whatever reason doesn't happen like last time, you know, the super tower, uh all the hype and then end up they decided that um uh, it's not something very feasible, but even even that say if all these things were were to not happen right, um my my take is that um existingly Ramanai is is actually one of the better places for people to actually stay, right. It has a great accessibility. Okay, and of course the orange line uh, is expected to start operation. So the blue line is uh, no doubt a major line. So it runs through here, but then you have your orange line that gives you greater access to other parts of Bangkok. So that means people from around here will find it even easier to then come to central part of Bangkok. So it's, uh, it's definitely a plus point. All right, specifications. Uh, uh, just a screenshot of what to expect. So, so it will come furnished, like I mentioned earlier, except uh, I think the electrical goods. So fridge, washing machine, you have to get your own. But then uh, things like your uh, the kitchen is done up. Right? And then they actually give you a basic furniture package. So if you are buying for investment uh, and you do not want the, the, the hassle of having to shop for every single item to do it up, uh, you are in a good place, all right. Generally, they have all these things up, but but of course, uh, there there will be people who would want to then uh, customize or maybe um buy better quality stuff to replace. I mean, you're free to do so, all right. And also, we do have um a leasing team based in Bangkok that can assist you with uh, such matters, right. So uh, once you have your property and then. Uh, later on, should you choose to uh, get someone to help you take care of it or to find a tenant, uh, that's something you can talk to us too as well. Okay, then uh, I did mention that the the, uh, the look and feel and the quality and the finishing will be somewhat similar to their previous two projects, which is the new Noble District R9 and also the Lachadara Pau. The District R9 is still under construction. So, uh, it, um, so in fact, when... when when sometimes when client who bought the district R nine right, they ask us, uh, how does it look like? Can I go and see the layout? Uh, maybe you, you know there are times where the sales gallery is not, uh, not available. Uh, the 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 noble people will actually ask us to. Uh, how about you ask them to go to uh Lachadarat Prao you know, and go and take a look. It's actually pretty much the same. The layout, the twenty six square meters, the thirty five square meters. So, uh, if you are curious about what to expect, then. Uh, and you do not have the time to visit the sales gallery, then check out this video, all right? You can go to our channel, Invest Bangkok Property. Property. Uh, do help us by subscribing, all right? And we have a lot of uh, uh, videos of our property site visits and whatnot. Sometimes when we visit interesting places, we try to film ourselves. So that we, we try to pull up as much resource uh as, as much as we can so that uh, you can then have a better idea of how it is like over there uh, what is it like to stay in Thailand Bangkok and uh, sometimes Daryl does a lot of Q&A uh, videos uh, because these are commonly asked questions by a lot of uh, would-be investors they are maybe concerned about the foreign exchange or maybe they are concerned about certain laws or taxes these are questions that are all answered on our channel so please uh, do visit the channel and check us out. Okay, payment schedule very quickly one side. Uh, so if if let's say uh, you're keen in this project, say hey Kevin, uh, I I I would like to get a unit in this project, and you chose a unit, all right, through our recommendation. Uh, the payment schedule is as such: you will first pay a deposit of about a hundred thousand Thai baht, not about exactly a hundred thousand Thai baht, all right, and then uh, within the next fourteen days to pay a fifteen percent of the entire value, right? So say say the project is four million, so you pay fifteen percent less the hundred thousand of four million. Thereafter, uh, in another sixty days time, you will do. Uh, you have to make another transfer of a 15% payment. So all in all, 30%. Uh, 
and because the project will take another three to four years to complete, the balance seventy percent you will only pay upon the completion of the project, which is expected to be completed in Q three two o two eight. So in a way, uh, if you would uh, like to better manage your cash flow, uh, and you're not prepared to pay the entire uh four million five million upfront, uh, then uh the uh, under construction projects is the way to go. Uh, Mm, there's always a trade-off because there are, there are people who uh, who come to us saying that I, I want something because it's a holiday home, I want to stay within the next three months. Uh, then, of course, you have to then look for things that are either going to be complete or just completed or, or ready to move in any time. But for those, you will have to then be prepared to pay the full sum within the next three months or so. All right. Okay, so Ramanai area project comparison, uh, I pull out some information uh, so, so to let you have an idea of uh, uh, what are some of the comparable projects in the area. The more recent ones, they actually, uh, there, are, there are some that, that are a bit more dated, like back, launched, uh, completed back in 2019, 2020. Um, I'm sure you can, you can find more information if you like to or you can approach me. Alright, but then... Uh, I'll just uh, list the more recent one. So the more recent one is, of course, number one is uh, Nova's own project, New District R9, uh, which is expected to be completed in 2025. So this is the only other project that is under construction. The rest are all completed. So there's this 195, which is nearby also. Completed not too long ago, 2022. Um, Ideal Ramanai Asok. Alright, completed in 2022. Uh, this is a project that also still have uh, uh, balance units that they are selling. So so if you are looking for something that is ready and uh, ready to move in and you want something in the Ramana area, um, yes, this is something you can consider. And in fact, I think we do have a few, we do have a playlist on this property uh, on our YouTube channel. So you can go and check it out. All right, and then, uh, and then if you go back one more year, then there's this live ASO hype. Right, if you go even older, you have uh, projects like Ashton, Asok, Ramanai, uh, which had a bit of hoo-ha um, because of the of the of some licensing issues, and then you have your Chiwa Thai, Asok, uh, you have Rhythm, um, yeah. All right, but anyway, coming back, all right, I um uh very briefly I pull out the uh the selling price of a typical one bedroom. Uh, in terms of per square meter, and also I took out the uh the the asking rent of a typical one bedroom, and I try to find the range of uh, prices that people are asking for, um and and to give context to the prices, I also try to uh indicate the 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 price uh, the the sizes, alright, because one bedroom can be very vague. A lot of projects. Uh, you can see here at least they are still quite consistent a lot of them all starts from 25 if you sometimes go to the more um, luxurious condo maybe downtown in Blanchit or uh, Chitlom area uh, you may not see uh, one bedroom they are of these sizes they are typically minimally starting from 35 or even 45 onwards right so those we classify them as luxury condo for here is uh, mid so I, uh, meet here uh, in my in my opinion all right so so there's a range okay so you can see uh, some of the projects also have loft uh, so I try to filter them out because that might not be a one-to-one -one direct comparison and you can see that uh, new district R9 there's still a handful of units for sale if you want to get direct from the developer but uh, you this is the kind of price point that you will come to expect all right and uh, 195 uh, this is the range on the resale market resale market okay uh, the caveat caveat uh, i have to have to share uh, is uh, these are prices that i have gotten from ddproperty.com uh, one of the uh, very commonly used um, uh, uh, listing portal for a lot of agents unfortunately in thailand they are they are not like um, uh, maybe from where i come from singapore where we have a ura Every, every transaction is lodged, stamped, uh, prices are lodged, so people can actually buy 
um, the caveat and, and actually check through the uh, transaction listing of a particular property or area uh, but uh, we do not have a centralized uh, uh, data source for Thailand so when you read reports from Night Frank or anything right so it, the data source will probably come from themselves and also their research team uh, as far as they can gather but they do not actually have a central place where all the information are lodged so these are at best a guide price all right uh, maybe for this is um uh, uh, this can be verified because you can just uh, walk into the sale, sales gallery and ask the developer for them they control the price but whereas for the resale right these are general asking prices but the actual transacted prices uh, will likely vary right uh, maybe uh, after some negotiation it will be 10 percent off or 20 percent off all right same for these these prices are actually the listed asking prices of rent of the one bedroom uh, on DD property so uh, the small units 26 square meters uh, you can see here the prices are pretty consistent so maybe this is a bit uh, lower because maybe the finishing is not as posh um, uh, the facilities and whatnot so so but you can see that uh, it doesn't deviate too far it's about 17 to 15 thousand so I believe when this is completed you should be expecting similar range all right uh, we try to be a bit more conservative in our assessment of prices. All right. The f first key question when you want to buy something to rent is, can you rent it out? Okay, that's the number one question. Then number two question is, can you rent it out continuously? All right. When you can answer the first two questions, then you talk about the you. Okay. No point having uh, artificially bloated you when half the time the unit is empty and you cannot find someone to stay inside. So I rather it to be always consistently rented. Um, uh, I I uh, I remember we sold this project called Noble Revolve uh, Rachada, so which is uh, a station down at Thailand Culture Center. Uh, Thailand Culture Center Esplanade come out. So we had we had a client who bought uh, pre COVID period. Uh, the project was was uh, very well priced at that point in time. The location is also quite decent because it's a short walk to the MRT. And from my knowledge uh, till today, right, I think um, uh, his rent uh, has been very consistent. And every time somebody moves out within like the next few days or one week, he will have another person lined up ready to take on the, the unit for rent. Uh, so this is the kind of property that you should be looking for. Right, uh, then you don't really have to worry about downtime. Okay, but anyway, uh, coming back, so you can see that the range of prices, uh, asking rent ranges. Uh, one nine five is uh, something that is more on the upmarket scale, and they have a larger unit, so hence that's why you can see that the price ranges a bit. Then if you were to do a bit of search, sometimes you can see, uh, if you just filter by one bedroom alone, right, you can see that the prices don't just stop at twenty three thousand; they actually go to fifty thousand. But if you look clearly. Uh, look carefully that those listings are actually loft units so uh, technically they are like a, a way larger unit than your typical 30 square feet simplex unit so uh, you have to compare apple to apple so i don't think uh, uh, when new district r9 or even new epic for the matter when it competes right it will deviate too far from the asking prices of here so the only question is uh, does it have anything uh, better going for you maybe you have a better entry price or maybe the location is actually better or is newer so you you have to make your own judgment call right okay so what's the offer uh, offer meaning uh, what's the price of the property so now they are doing a, a, a pre-sale launch early launch so definitely uh, if you were to commit at this point in time you should be getting the best possible price right uh, vis a vis you were to try to buy it uh, uh, maybe half a year later when um, when they have started selling a number and then they slowly raise their price this is their usual way of doing things all right that was the same for uh, district r as well so so right now uh, if you look at a uh, typical one bedroom they uh, the, the per square meter price is only one to eight so versus uh, here all right okay so this is one to eight so maybe if you want to compare Apple to Apple, you the closest comparison will probably be this lah. All right, but but having said that, uh, um, I think in terms of location, this does have a slight advantage. All right, if you just were to look at the Google Map and compare exactly where where it is, okay. Um, but then at one two eight, that that is quite a quite a huge discount. All right, 
and um, because it's not only is it one to eight because the 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 size of units are manageable twenty six square meters thirty square meters right uh, so when you multiply up uh, this is a u price of a unit uh, uh, roughly an indicative price of a fifth floor unit so it's about three point six million three point six million three over million is also the uh, current entry price if you were to get a balance unit new noble rachadara power but here you are buying right almost at the heart of aso something that is sub 4 million uh, walking distance to MRT uh, from a reputable developer uh, I think uh, this is something that should definitely be on your radar if you are serious about uh, investing in a property in Bangkok uh, right now or sometime in the next one or two months okay unit recommendation um, okay so so uh, I have to do a bit of uh, sales and marketing here. Uh, we do have the full set of the floor plan. We have uh, the available units that they have released for foreign quota. So, uh, but if you are interested to know more, please contact us. Uh, you can write to us at hello at investbangkokproperty.com or you can check the description in the video below. All right, it has our uh, mobile contact, WeChat and uh, WhatsApp as well. So you can call us if you wish to. All right, please feel free to contact us. So they have one bedroom standard, one bedroom plus, um, uh, combined unit, as I mentioned earlier, uh, two bedroom and also combined unit. So you can buy two units of 30 square meters and not true, but only selected units because uh, you have to look and see whether the wall in between is something that, that can be removed. All right, so they have designated units for that. Okay, and I have the entire floor plan. So what we do when client come to us is, of course, if you have the luxury to choose uh, when you have the entire 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 level available right then then of course uh, we would want to help our client get the best possible facing best possible unit so that it makes our job easier if we want to help you rent it out next time also so uh, yes so if you want to know more you want to you want to get the entire uh, uh, floor plan you want the sales kit you want to find out more you want to know the price Contact us, hello at investbangkokproperty.com or check the description in the link below. Alright, so uh, that's it for me. I will sign off here. Um, I will see you at the next video. Alright, thank you very much. Bye-bye.